everyone welcome back i'm so happy you're here and you popped over to see what i am up to for everyone who is new here welcome my name is iani and i'm doing this all about christmas channel of course on this channel you will find lots and lots of seasonal decor DIYs and daily decor DIYs. if you like this content and you're not subscribed to my channel of course i hope you will click the red subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and hit the bell so you will be notified every time i upload new DIYs. of course i keep it short but if you want to see more DIYs, come on over to my description box. There you find the link for our DIY channel, so go check it out. Enough talking, and we are going to start a brand new DIY. And for this DIY, we need, of course, our tumbler tower blocks. And I'm going to use the smaller blocks you can buy at Dollar Tree. And here in the Netherlands, you can buy them also in any store. And of course, around the world, you can buy them in any, any store because it's just a simple Jenga game. So the smaller blocks, I have here my little container with my uh, uh, cutting tool, of course, some markers, some brushes some wire some scissors everything i need all the time of course you can choose some paint at your choice and of course i use my wood glue but you can use of course your hot glue but be careful that your diy is not falling apart but most of the time wood glue is a little bit better but you also have hot glue which is uh, uh having some wood glue inside so if you have that it's also fine too so these are the main pieces what we will need we are going to make our own decor lamp but we will see how this will turn out of course we give our own twist on it so we are going to start with eight blocks four five six seven eight of course we are going to roll them together very easy just do a little line over here most of the time i use already a little too much glue because and i have the little opening already very small so try if you can cut your opening yourself try to do it as um as small as you can and number seven and number eight is always the closure up so make a nice straight line of course lay down over here and we're going to make another row of uh eight of course, we have our old piece of kitchen towel with its wet. So we're going to go further. Five, six, seven, and eight. And of course, this will be the bottom. And we're going to do two. And I do it as fast as I can. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're going to roll them together this way squeeze it and give it a little bit like this in a straight line of course you can use your metal uh, hook if you like that a little bit better most of the time i do it uh, just by looking at it but you don't have to do it you can make it the way you want to i like it always a little bit better like this i'm going to go again for eight blocks because i like to give it a nice um under piece of under piece a double piece which is looking like a double piece so we are going to make two pieces of two and this is number one and glue them together and this way we're going to do here the same and we're going to squeeze them together this way and this way then we're going to make if I am correctly, I hope I am correctly, we are going to do three, <laughs> but I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's also DIY. I make the mistakes for you and I count for you, but I sometimes it's in my head, but it is not always the same like what I do. <laughs> because what I have to figure out what it is in English. So I'm going to let these uh, pieces dry. So we are going to carefully place it on the side, the one of the eight blocks, and we're going to do some glue on the line over here. Make sure that every block has a little bit of glue, place it down, and don't worry if your piece is falling apart when it's not totally dried up, because it doesn't matter. With wood glue, you can easily redo it and make it again, because it is still not dried up so we're going to let this place over here we do two over here and we're going to place this two inside here so what we're going to do we do some glue on the tops and on this top 
place it down. We do it on this top and on this top. And we're going to place it down. We're going to do this one over here, this one over here, and this one over here. And we're going to give it a little bit of pressure also over here and over here. And make the shape you want because you want to have a straight line. And I have to redo this one a little bit. And now I'm going to let it rest. And if we go going to glue this one on top and then it looks, if we turn it over, it looks like it has a double layer. But it doesn't cost you all the blocks you if you want to make another one. If you don't mind uh, using a lot of blocks, then you can uh, use, of course, two times uh, this uh, plank. But I always go for a little bit on the cheap side. So I go for this one. So I'm going to let this dry in. In the meantime, while these two are drying, we're going to get three blocks. And we're going to glue them on top of each other. So on the sides, again, and number two. And we're going to place them together, squeeze it, and press it down. And we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need this way. And make sure that you have a nice, cute a little square. And I'm going to make another one of three. A little glue and of a little line over here. And squeeze it and press it together. You do again three blocks. And a number two. And again, squeeze them, roll them together. And make sure that you have a straight line. We do another three, and you think when she's going to stop with three? I will, <laughs> but we need eight of them. I did four together with you, and I make the other four a little bit faster. our eight pieces of three what we're going to do first we're going to glue this one on top of here what we're going to do we're going to make a thin line over here and around here around here and of course over here and we're going to place carefully if everything will come off the table <laughs> we're going to place this on top of here and if everything is correct it is fitting on top of here and give it a little bit of pressure and then again redo it and make sure that you have it as much as you can in a straight line like this and we're going to give it a little drying of a couple of minutes maybe 10 of course with this kind of DIYs with wood glue especially in the winter season you have to um, take your time for it so we're going to give it some rest and place it over here so now we did glue this on top of here and now I'm looking to my blocks and I was thinking this is not okay. <laughs> this is not okay. So you don't uh, must not make three of this one. You just need to make three on top of each other. So very easy. Some glue over here and this one on top of here and of course this one on top of here and then place them aside make a straight line squeeze them and place them straight up because you don't need them flat you need them like a block like this so <laughs> i am thankfully i always when i use wood glue it's so easy to redo it and you see already how important it is <laughs> to redo it but you of course don't have to worry about it because you already can make the DIY already with the blocks flat on top of each other. So I have to redo them. So don't make the mistake like I do. But I still, every time I have to think, what is the next one? And if it is something new, I always have to think. Because I always start and I never have an, any idea where it will end. So that's why... I love DIYing, especially when you don't know how it will turn out. Of course, we have to make sure like this. So it is a little bit of work, but at the end, we will get there. <laughs> we will. And you'll see in a moment what I mean, why I need it this way. Or else it doesn't fit. So squeeze them. 
like this and a lot of you already laughing what you doing right now but of course i will do the rest and then we do the next step so now we're going to get our blocks you see already i'm going to place them this way down so you have the full block over here and we're going to do one again so we're going to glue them together this way and squeeze it and make sure that they are fitting together we're going to do this one the same also a little glue in the middle squeeze it and press them down you can also lay them down it's also maybe a little bit easier to glue them and then we can later place them up again again this way squeeze it and the last one and that's why i always show you also the mistakes which can go wrong everyone has mistakes most of the time uh, a lot of DIYs are shown the way that everything goes perfect but in DIY nothing goes perfect at least not in my DIY, <laughs> my DIYing maybe there are people who can really do it in one piece and don't make any mistakes so Maybe I'm just some, someone who makes a lot of mistakes. I don't know. But I'm going to let this rest for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to make a nice uh, shape in it. So we have our four pieces. We are going to lay two of them this way. And this way we do the same like we did with the bottom. Only a little higher. So we do some glue on this side. And a little on this side. And again, be careful because it still can fall apart and on this side and we're going to place this one against here this one against here and we're going to place this one over here and we make a nice shape inside of this and we have to give it a little bit of pressure and this way and also on this side and we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes again. So we are going to turn this one over because this will be the bottom. So we now we have a flat top. What we're going to do, we're going to get our glue again. And we're going to go a little line over here. And over here. And over here. And now we're going to do carefully get the sides and place it on top of here. Like this let it fall down and make sure that you have it as straight as you can have it and then give it a little bit of pressure from the top and then you get and now uh, it looks a little bit like a little basket so give it a little bit of pressure this way and now he's looking like this you see and this is the underside and this is the inside so now we're going to do the next step because we're going to make the base of our uh, lamp. So now we're going to make the uh, feet of, the, of course we did already the feet. Now we're going to make the middle piece. We are going to make four blocks together. So very easy, a thin line. And number two, and number three. And uh, number four is of course the close up. Squeeze it like this. We're going to do another one of four and this is one number two and number three squeeze it press it together and make a nice straight line and now we're going to make two pieces of two so very easy this is one and number two again squeeze them make a straight line squeeze and a straight line and of course we are going to remove the glue we don't need over here and now we're going to let it rest for a couple of minutes so now i'm going to take the pieces and place them straight up and this way and now i'm going to do some glue on this side in the length over here and on this side place it straight up and I'm going to do here the same on the sides over here 
and I'm going to place them. It will be very small, so be careful. And this way, and now we're going to give it a little bit of pressure and make sure that we have a straight line. And every time we do it again in the shape you want to have it, because it needs to close up together very nicely. And I'm going to let this dry. In the meantime, while this, is, this one is drying, we are going to make, of course, a second one, because we want to have it a little higher before we're going to do a stage in between. So again, four blocks together, squeeze it, press it down, and another four. And this is so easy to do. Number two, number three, and number four is again the closure up. And we only need two pieces of two. And then we already can wait and let it dry in. And we're going to repeat the same like we did with the other one. Squeeze it. And again, squeeze and squeeze. And we're going to let this dry. So we're going to do the same. We're going to do some glue on the inside. A little line over here. A little line over here. And we're going to do here the same. A little line. And here a little line. And now we're going to glue them the same like we did with the other one. Against each other. This way. We're going to give it a little bit of space. Squeeze it. A little and make sure that everything stays in place and we do it and then we're going to give it some time to rest you see already i made one extra so i now have three i don't know if i'm going to use it but i made already one extra you could see later if we need it or not but you don't have to make it extra because i already did it for you so what we're going to do we're going to glue six blocks together very easy and number two number three number four and number five and again squeeze it and make a nice straight line again we're going to do the same three four five six and we're going to do the same and again number two and every time lay them already against each other so your glue does not run down too much again squeeze it and make a nice straight line and go to give this also a couple of minutes to rest in so like this and then we're going to go further so we gave this two pieces of six a little moment to rest and now we're going to do some glue over here and we're going to place them on top of each other very easy this way and make sure that you have it again in a straight line I sound like a racket sometimes, but I only have the best that you have, the best for you, so you can make your own DIY very easy and fast. And again, we're going to lay this aside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one of the pieces. I'm doing some glue on the inside over here, around, and I'm going to place this one on top. So very easy. And make sure that you have a straight line and give it a little bit of pressure. And again, feel with your fingers so everything is fitting very nicely. And we're going to let this dry in also again a couple of minutes. And I go first for two. I think I measured out a little bit. I think I'm going to need this one for the layer on top. So I need one extra of this one. So we need two of this one and again also two of here. So I have to make one uh, other one to make for on top of here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, like I said, I give it a couple of minutes. Then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to glue this on top of here. So in the meantime, while this is drying, I'm going to make one extra for this one. So it's a very easy again. We just do four pieces. We just do four pieces. And we do two pieces and again another two pieces so i'm going to do them a little bit faster
So I have also my second one for this one. So I'm going to do some glue on the inside, also on this one over here. Go around so we can easily, very nicely fitting this one also on top of each other. Make sure that you have a straight line again. Give it a little bit of pressure. And again, we're going to let this dry in also a couple of minutes. I think go for, because it will be getting a, a lot of pressure, so go for at least a half hour. We already made one, two pieces of six on top of each other, so we, this is already one in between stage. But of course, we need also a top stage, so we're going to get again six blocks like this. And again, also six over here. And we do the same, we're going to glue them in one piece together. And then we almost have the of the stamp of our, I don't know if you call it a stamp, lamp um, feet or something else. Uh, I, don't, I always think the feet is the, the place you like this one, the down piece of the bottom piece. I think that's the feet of the lamp, at least I hope. But maybe the feet of the lamp is also in the whole uh, piece but of course we call it a lamp foot of um, yeah I don't know at least we call, <laughs> we call it a different I can do two things together this is one big chaos I have to concentrate on this and then I tell you, <laughs> tell you the rest because I'm already making mistakes we have two pieces of six like this and we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes. So, of course, it dried in for a couple of minutes. And of course, I was telling you in the Netherlands, we call it lampe foot or maybe a lampe poot. But I don't know. I was debating if I could say it on camera or not, lampe poot. So I don't know. <laughs> That's why I have to figure out if I could say it or not. So, of course, we call it lampe poot or lampe foot. But you call it, I think... Um, you call the, the top, you call a lamp shade, and of course you call the base, you call the lamp feet, if I'm correctly. But I, you will probably leave a comment down below if I am wrong, so at least it will be the base of the lamp. Let's keep it at, the, at that. I'm going to place this one on top, and again make a nice top over here, and a straight line like this. And we're going to let this rest. So now we have our two pieces of the pieces of six and we have our two boxes. What we're going to do, we're going to turn around one of them and we're going to do some glue on the underside like this. And we're going to place it exactly in the middle over here. Give it a little bit of pressure and make sure if look at all sides, if you have it in the middle and then Give it also from the top some pressure and again look for and if you want to wipe away the glue you don't need just get a nice small uh, pencil or brush and I'm going to go around and remove the glue we don't need like this and so you get always a nice DIY. This is already one and I'm going to let this dry because in a moment I'm going to do some glue over here and I'm going to place this one on top of here. So I'm going to do some glue on the inside over here and then we're going to turn it over and it's better to do it this way. Then you can really see where you're going to glue it in the middle because you want to have it of course in the middle and we're going to do it again over here. Make sure that you have a little bit of pressure. And look on all sides if you have it again in the middle. And give it also from the top a little bit of pressure again. And we're going to let this dry also. So now we have already this glue together and it's not totally dry yet. But we're going to get this one of this side. I already would turn it over but <laughs> of course we're going to do some glue on this one. And now we have... Turn this one also upside down and we're going to place this one exactly in the middle of this one. And so we can easily see uh, where we are gluing because if you do it already on top of each other then you, go, you can't see 
where the middle is. At least I can't see where the middle is. Maybe you can, but I can't. So I'm going to give this one also some pressure. And now I'm going to let this dry a little moment because we're going to get our bottom and we're going to do some glue over here. I'm going to turn it over and place it inside of here. And then already our lamp feet is already uh, finished almost. So I'm doing some glue on the top of here, over here, a little line, and over here. And of course, be sure that you have enough glue because this will be uh, glued to the bottom. So you have to be sure that everything is sticks together so of course it's not totally dry yet so be careful if you turn it over and place it in the middle so of course i have to look for if i have it really in the middle and it's very easy to see because here you have two blocks and here is one line in the middle so you can easily get the middle over here so this is very easy to do and over here and then we're going to give it a little bit of pressure again and now we already have our feet of our lamp and now we're going to make the top now we're going to start with the lamp shade and of course i'm going to start with of five blocks that's at least where i'm going to start it can be that i do later six high but first i'm going to look for and i'm going to look for five high if that's enough if it's not enough i always can do one block extra but Getting uh, it off later is always a little bit more difficult. So three, four, and number five is the close you up. So squeeze them and make sure with this one that you have all the blocks. And you see already, this block is smaller than the other one. So I have to pick it out because or else my lampshade will look very strange. And that's not what we want. You can use the uh, blocks which has a different measurement somewhere else, but not in this uh, DOI so again five blocks high and we are going to of course we're going to place it aside we're going to wipe away and we're going to do again another five and we're still going to look for if all of them have the same size and it looks like it does so we again one number two number three and number four and number five is again the closure up Squeeze it and we are going to repeat this one 10 times because we need 10 of pieces of 5. So I did measure out a little bit. I did two together like this and I looked on the side of my uh, lamp and I didn't uh, like it so I'm going to go for one extra on each uh, piece so I have now 10 pieces of six so you can make very easy just 10 pieces and of course I'm going to glue one extra on top of here because I don't like the five I go for a little bit higher a lampshade and we're going to go for this one we have to go an extra over here and we do so every one of them one extra so i will take my time for it so <laughs> you don't have to wait for it now i have my 10 pieces of six what i'm going to do very easy i'm going to place one on the side i'm going to do some glue over here place it down and do it together i'm going to do with this one the same over here and place this one together that is already one side of my lamp shade of course make sure that you have a straight line take your time for it because it has to fit very nicely all together we're going to do again on this one also a little bit of glue place it down and we do here the same a little bit of glue place it down and again make sure that you get a nice straight line and a straight piece like this we're going to do over here on two pieces and we're going to place this one down and squeeze them together 
and feel with your fingers that the lines are very smooth and we're going to do here the same do some glue on the side and we're going to place this one also against each other and this way feel with your fingers that you have a nice smooth line and again press them together and we're going to let this dry in so i let these pieces dry i'm going to place them aside i have a nice uh, a space again what i'm going to do because i want to decorate the lampshade a little bit so it doesn't look really like yeah a boring lampshade so what i'm going to do i'm going to glue on this one i'm gluing this one together i'm doing some on the top of this one and i'm going to place this one over here and for this one i will do one on the top and on the sides and i'm going to place this one inside of here and you get a nice square and i'm going to do this one again because we need two we have two smaller sides so we need two of the this kind of squares this is already in number one this is number three and the last will be again on the top and on the side a little dot so over here place it in between and you get again a nice square make sure that you make a nice shape out of it and let it dry in and this way and this way of course remove the glue because I use already a little bit too much glue. You see it already. It is one glue. So I'm going to let this dry in. And then we're going to make two for the other side. Now we're going to make two for the uh, little bit of the wider side. So we're going to glue two together. This way. Squeeze them. Press them together. And we do another piece of two. Place them together. And press them together. We do again another one of two and again squeeze it together and the last of two pieces together this way is over here and then glue them together again let this again give this a couple of minutes so you see already i made already one of course we are going to do this one we're going to get a loose block we are going to do some glue we are going to place it against this one we're going to do get this one we do some glue on the top very easy place this one over here squeeze it we're going to get a loose block again and we do some on the top and on the inside and we're going to place it over here and we're going to get another one like i already made of course i have to make a little shape inside of it so and this one goes a little bit out and this and now i'm going to let this dry also so we have our pieces of our lampshade and we have of course our little decorative lining around it what i'm going to do i'm going to get one piece of this one get it on my hand and i'm going to do some glue just a very simple in the middle like this and i'm going to place this one also in the middle of the wider one so like this i'm going to place it over here i'm going to very carefully because not everything is totally dried later i'm going to give it a long time drying i'm going to turn it over very carefully and again place it in the middle we're going to lay this one aside of course i have to look if i have this one also in the middle and this way and now we're going to get the smaller parts and that will be of course this one do also a line in the middle over here and we're going to place this one also in the middle give it a little bit of pressure and we're going to do for this one the same also over here. and of course you ha don't have to do this if you don't like the way i made this it's totally fine you don't you can do maybe some other different decoration on top of it but i always love to show you how everything you can make with the blocks so i'm going to give it a little bit of pressure on all of them 
make sure that we have it in the middle and we let it dry so our play our pieces are drying and the only last step we are going to do probably for gluing is of course we are going to glue nine blocks together three and this will be in number nine so again because we need a middle piece for the lampshade to rest on top of here so of course it sounds strange but i hope when i have it together that it will work <laughs> but i hope that with every diy so, <laughs> so most of the time it does but and you see already nine pieces glued together until one big piece and we're going to give it a nice straight line like this so I have here my pieces of nine, which we're going to use to in, use inside of the uh, lampshade. What I'm going to do, because I have here my battery operated lights, but I want to work away in my little box. I don't know if this will work or not. We, I have really no idea. So I hope you come along with me and we will see if this will <laughs> work or not. We're going to do two blocks together like this. And again, two together, squeeze them and make a straight line. Squeeze and make a straight line. We're going to lay this two apart and we're going to make one row of six blocks again. And we're going to do this one and number two and a number three and a number four and number five because i normally i don't like the plastic boxes which are coming with the battery operated lights now uh, there are already lights which have a little smaller box like i have i have already one of the bigger box but i like the color of the lightning of this one so again squeeze it and we're going to wipe away the glue this way we're going to give it a couple of minutes to rest and then we're going to build it together so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the two blocks. I'm doing some glue on the side. And I'm going to place it against the line of the second block over here. So you get uh, five full blocks open. One, two, three, four, five. And here we're going to go at the ending of the second block. We are going to do this one. Again, do some glue. And we're going to place this one, of course, at the ending of the second block. We're going to squeeze it and press it together. Of course, we do now some glue on this side and on this side. And we're going to place this on top. And we're going to make sure that everything is fitting very nicely together this way until like kind of a box. So we get our battery operated lights so just in between. So we are going to get the pieces together. We are going to place this one over here. We are going to make sure that we have one and we're going to do some glue on this side. Over here. And I have to glue it on top of here. I had to think a moment. You saw me thinking. <laughs> do i do it right or not so we are going to place this one over here of course i have to use a little block under it because or else i can't give it any pressure and this way we're going to make sure that we have it in a straight line oh like this it's a little bit of work and take your time for it because time is everything so again give it some pressure and especially make sure that you have it in a straight line like this and give it a couple of minutes to dry and then we're going to do the other side so i let this dry in the one side now i'm going to do the other side so i'm going to do some glue on this side also on the longer piece and i'm going to place this one also against this one on top of here on top of the middle one the same like we did with the other one and again Give it a little bit of pressure and turn it around so you can see it a little bit better. And this way, and make sure that you have it in a straight line like this. And again, wipe away the glue you don't need, especially on the outside. So we're going to go, I have to squeeze it a little bit out. 
and this way and now we're going to give this a couple of minutes a rest not too long because or else it dries too much in so and now we're going to go in a moment we're going to take this piece and we're going to glue this in the middle over here only on this little line we're going to do we're going to get two loose blocks and we do this one and this one on top of each other and i do it with some glue because this one will be uh, a kind of a stand for this one so he can rest on it or else you can't glue it because it's a very small line you have to glue in so just glue this one together so like this this is just a kind of a stand you place inside here you just don't do anything with it it's only a resting place you just place it over here and then you do some glue on the other side on the smaller side of this one over here and we're going to place it on the second uh, from the other side the second one you place it on the ending of the line like this over here and we're just going to let it rest and make sure that you have it in a straight line and of course i almost forgot of course my battery pack needs already to be inside and i didn't do that so i'm going to do that first yes we have a little change of plans because i was having it really nicely together i thought very nicely and my battery pack is just very nicely fitting inside this works very nice but of course if i place it inside of here i never come to my battery pack again so what did i do i broke off the top of the piece we made so i show it to you we made this of course but you don't have to you make the whole piece but you don't have to glue this on top because we have to use it as a kind of a lid so you only make this like this and then you're going to lay place this later when you have your battery pack or else you never can change up your batteries again and that's not what we want <laughs> so this is better we just use it as a lid so you only make uh, nine blocks and you do two pieces of two on top of here and you place them in the uh, ending of the second one and this one and you're just going to fit with this one is uh, six pieces and you just use it as a lid on top so it always stays this way because it doesn't matter so like this of course this was a little bit of a kind of a struggle <laughs> to get it fitting now i'm going to do really some glue on the end on the side and i'm going to place it and we still use our stand you see this is the stand we made and i'm going to place it on the second of our line over here and give it a little bit of pressure so it gets steady like this and we're going to let this dry in in a moment i showed you a little bit more so what i'm going to do i let this rest for a, a little moment i'm going to do some glue over here and some glue on this top and then i hope the lampshade is really the way i want to have him so we will see but it was a little of a struggle but of course i so happy you are doing this together with me i hope and you don't have to make the mistakes anymore because i already made them for you that's already a nice thing and i'm going to place it on top make sure give it a little bit of pressure over here and get it as nicely fitting as you can and this way over here over here and we're going to give it a little bit of over maybe also what you can do give it more pressure just do a paint can on top of here and then he can nicely dry in but be sure that you have it in the right shape or else you will be sorry and of course i'm going to let this dry in so and if everything correctly you have of course the base of your lamp and you have your lamp shade of course with the loose uh, uh, lid of course for your battery operated pack you can lay under here so and you get a nice view inside of your lamp 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this one a paint color, I think the uh, dark gray, and I'm going to do give this one off white, so it is uh, contrasting to each other, but you can choose any color you like, so I do this gray and I do this in the creamy color. already this one is almost black but it is dark gray and of course the lampshade is a little bit creamy white what we're going to do right now we're going to glue them together of course i'm going to place the lampshade on upside down this way and i'm going to glue this one on top of here so i'm doing some glue on the top of our frame this way and over here, and we're going to go in the middle, and we're going to turn it upside down, and we're going to place it exactly in the middle. Of course, I have to look for where I the middles exactly, because I, I have to be aware that I have it in the middle. I think I have it almost in the middle. I let this dry in now. So now I also painted the underside because I didn't like it that it was just a wood color. So I also painted the underside and did some uh, filth under it. Now I'm going to let this uh, dry in for at least an hour. And then we're going to turn it over and we are going to do some greenery in his feet. And then we have our own and we, of course, our light. And then we have our own blooming lamp. So we will see how this will turn out. But in a moment, you see the quick impression. And yes, I told you, you see in a moment the quick impression. But I couldn't help myself just also to show you a little bit behind the scenes. I'm going to decorate, like you know, the little inside of our blooming lamp. Because this gives a little bit more character to the lamp. And it is a decorative lamp. So you can do anything with it. Of course, you can decorate before the easter season you can do some hay and some bunnies and some carrots inside or maybe for valentine some hearts some red colors you can do uh, maybe for the fourth of july for any season you can use this uh, lamp of course i am going to give it a little bit of the christmas season because uh, it is still a little bit of the christmas season and because i am an all about christmas channel you will find uh, christmas but of course don't forget i also have on my channel everyday decor and of course seasonal decor for all the seasons so you will find here everything so i will go to decorate it and you see what i made of it and here you see finally a quick impression of our tumbling tower blocks blooming lamp and like i told you earlier i decorated for this season but of course you can change them up for any season it is so easy to do of course i hope you give this one a try and maybe you already did and have right now you also your own blooming lamp of course, if you are here only for watching, of course, I hope you had fun watching. And if you like to see more DIYs, come on over to my description box. There you find the link for our DIY channels. Of course, everyone who is here and is not subscribed to my channel, of course, I hope you will click the red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and click the bell so you will be notified every time I upload new DIYs. Of course, enough talking. I wish you all an amazing coming holiday season and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.